Hi everybody, Martin here, your favorite Regina Realtor, and today I'm bringing you episode four of my 15 lessons from 15 years of real estate series. So lesson four is basically what I like to call uh, conflict. Now conflict uh, is, is an issue in real estate because there's always problems, and our job is basically to solve problems, where that's, that's, that's the job. You have issues with buyers and sellers, and uh, you're always kind of needing to, uh, to solve those issues. So I found that, um, um, by nature, I'm a little bit of a procrastinator. I, I kind of avoid conflict. Uh, so um, at first I found this really, really, really difficult. Uh, but uh, as time went on um, and I did some coaching and I did some research and some learning, I realized that sometimes the best way uh, to deal with conflict is to step out of your comfort zone and just uh, approach it head on. Um, and actually, that was a very, very, very good and valuable lesson that I learned. I learned that um, if there's an issue, if there's a problem, if a client's unhappy about something, you just go deal with it right away. You don't procrastinate, you don't think about it, you don't avoid it, you just deal with it. And uh, it actually ends up being, turning out a lot better than you would think. Uh, much better, in fact, than if you just put it off and wait and wait and, and then it festers and becomes a much, much bigger issue. So uh, that was a really, really important lesson that I learned actually again early on. I was lucky um, that I just made that commitment to whenever there's an issue, there's a problem, there's something that uh, that's uh, that's not right and the client's unhappy or, or, uh, or whatever, or the deal's not coming together, deal with it head on right away, don't procrastinate and you'll be much better off. I think that's actually a good life lesson as well. So uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you can, I hope you do that too, uh, or you can learn to do that as well. Uh, anyway, that's it for this lesson. Um, I, hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and talk to you soon. Cheers.